it. Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. What the hell happened? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. There's no way we can bust it open? Maybe with enough time, but I don't know how much of that we have. Be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Not working. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. I'll have to take time to rest later, I think. No tape inside. What's this on the floor? It's a sonogram. There's dried blood on this printout. And on the floor. Looks like a trail of it from the safe to the camera over there. Then out the door. What the hell happened here? Do you think shooting it open would work? Only thing that would accomplish is getting us all killed. So, no, I don't. Hey, Krista. Yeah? Are you making any progress with the safe? No. Without the combination, I don't know how we're gonna get this damn thing open. If we don't get back to Omid with some medicine soon... It's okay. We'll figure it out. I hope I did the right thing bringing Clementine with us. This place isn't exactly safe. Then why did you? Because leaving her alone with Omi didn't seem any safer. What's that supposed to mean? No offense, Krista, but Omi's pretty sick. If he dies with Clementine alone in the house with That her, is not gonna happen. Do you hear me? That is not going to happen. We're going to get these meds to Omid, and he's going to be fine. He's going to be fine! You're right. I'm sorry. Are you feeling okay? I'm fine. Why are you asking me that? It's just that you've been looking a little pale the past couple of days. You've been throwing up. Oh, you're... come on. You just dug up a rotting dog carcass. I'm surprised we weren't all throwing up. Lee, I'm fine. Quit worrying about me, okay? Worry about Omid. We've got to get him these meds. Look, Lee, I just want to get back to Omid. Let me do my thing, all right? Okay. Already cleaned out. Y'all already checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. The way this camera's set up, it looks like it would have had a pretty good view of that keypad. I wonder if it cut someone punching it in. Anna Correa. 
Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? I think maybe we just got lucky. That'd be a first. Phones probably haven't worked in months. How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. Molly helped me get the battery we needed. That's great. One down. Where is she? She took off. Had some kind of errand she needed to run. Took off? With the battery? Yeah. Don't worry, she'll be back. I hope so. That girl doesn't really strike me as a team player. More the mercenary kind. How much time do you think Omid has, Doc? You want my medical opinion? The sooner we get him some strong antibiotics to start fighting that infection, the better. Let's just leave it at that, huh? Hey, Doc, uh, I just wanted to thank you for coming with us, and for all your help. I really appreciate it. Don't mention it. It's times like these we've got to help each other the most, right? And we're no better than those Crawford sons of bitches. I heard that. I'll go see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh God, oh God, oh God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this, but I need you to come back no later than tomorrow, or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Damn it! We almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it. See what he's got on him. Isn't that the name of the doctor on that tape? Too bad I don't know the combo.
Hermit. This is the place I'm looking for. Well, climbing the fence isn't an option. Too many walkers in there. This is definitely the guy. This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Shit, time to go. found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living? If this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please, help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. <laughs> Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee.
Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Overson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die, or she'll start showing symptoms, and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Well, shit. Christ! Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. I'm just kidding. Here you go. What's that? Nothing. You can quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place or in their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic. And by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret. Kept her safe for as long as I could. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Chip! Ben. Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Did you leave Clementine alone? No, Kenny's with her. We still can't open that armory door. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, Ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh, no. Ah, shit! Ah! It wasn't me! Good going, kid. Nice shot. Thanks. What the fuck is going on? They're coming. 
Oh, shit. That ought to hold him. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! This is my fault, all my fault. The hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean, this is all your fault? Penny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. I opened the door. I let them in. Ben, shut the fuck up. Fuck you, Lee. I can't do this anymore. It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... Kid, enough! Calm down, man! You little pissant! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You got to both fucking killed! Kenny, I said calm the fuck down! Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here. Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? I'm sorry, Ben. I've got to do what's best for the group. And that means cutting you loose. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say in the- Now can we go? Damn right! Vernon, come on! Much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I could. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's gotta be a way out down here. Fuck! It's not gonna hold. Back upstairs!
here this leads to the roof we might be able to find a way down from there you didn't come into town from the railroad did you yeah why never mind I can see the sewer where we came in from here I think we can do this well what are we waiting for go go Come on, let's go! Everything okay? Oh, me! Hold on. Is he... dead? Krista, don't! Stay back! I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! Ready? We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. You okay, kid? You look worse than I do. We almost didn't make it out of there because of this asshole. Should have left him behind, but we had the chance. Guys, what the hell happened out there? Let someone else tell you. I got work to do. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. Listen, man, about what happened to Bree. Don't beat yourself up over it. There was nothing you could have done. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, 
It's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me, to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? You're coming at me with a lot here, Vernon. I need to think it over. Of course, take your time. But I want you to think about some things. You're a good man, Lee. You've been protecting these people as best you can so far, and they look up to you. Rightly so. But it's different with a child. You might have brought her this far, but sooner or later she might ask you for more than you can give her. I'm sorry if that's hard to hear, but it's the truth. I appreciate it, Vernon. Let me think about it, okay? You do that. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded. And I never did like the water. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. Hey, sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do, after he fixes it? Where will we go? Someplace else. Someplace better. Clem, honey, what's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. Ben's a good kid. I think he's just feeling guilty about some of the decisions he's made. He's gotten a feeling like he's a burden on the rest of us. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe.
Clementine? 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 Clementine! Oh, God. Crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night, Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? You're not thinking of going after her alone, are you? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Always been there for me, Lee. Always had my back when it mattered. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Bitten or not, I'm with you to the end. You can count on me. What about you, Ben? Now hold on a minute. You're not really thinking about bringing him with us, are you? Ben, I'm sorry, but I need Kenny on this. Maybe you should stay with the boat. Okay, sure. Just don't fucking lay a finger on it, you hear? Okay, guys, we should go find Vernon, see if he took her. Let's head out. Are we okay just leaving the boat like this? With only Ben to look after it? What choice do we have? If anything has happened to that boat when I get back, I will fucking bury you in that backyard. Are we clear?
Where the hell are they? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon! Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! Bitch! Previously, on The Walking Dead. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. Here, you can have some too. I think we should look for your parents. They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We gotta go! <laughs> yeah, why? Clementine? Clementine! Oh, oh. Clementine's gone. Wherever she is, I have to find her. You're not thinking of going after her alone, are you? We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Maybe you should stay with the boat. Okay, sure. Clementine! Thank <laughs> you. 
Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! Clementine, are, are you alright? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Cody! Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine, but if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. What do you want from me? Whatever it is, I'll do it. You can let her go. I want you to never hurt anybody again. This isn't a kidnapping, Lee. Then what is it? A rescue. Don't worry, pal. We'll get her back. How's that feeling? Not great. My hand is hot, and it's thumping a little bit. You seem okay, for now. Yeah, totally. We don't have much time. We're about to have a lot less. We'll all make sure nothing gets in. You're still the smartest fucker out of all of us. We'll try to find another way out of here. Hey. We'll have time to chit-chat later. I was kind of hoping they dug some secret tunnels or something. I should keep looking for a way out. Yeah, get to it. I'll have these doors open in two seconds. Sorry, pal. 
I gotta do it. Stop! He's awake! He's still bitten. So? This is about trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. By chopping his arm off. Do we know it works? We don't know anything. We know there's gonna be a lot of blood. There's gonna be a shitload of blood. What if he dies? Then the rest of us go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah. Damn right. Let's do this. If there's a chance it stops you from turning, we have to take it. Let's do it. Maybe it'll work. It's a big risk. Yeah. We're down here without a lot of options. Fuck it. Cut it off. Seriously? Yeah. easier when I thought he was out. Oh, Jesus. Fine. I'll go as fast as I can. You got- <laughs> Try to stay still! <laughs> Gotta tighten the tourniquet. Not a while, man. It's so bad. But maybe now I got more time. Do you think you'll be able to travel? You lost some blood. Yeah. Good. The elevator's open. Let's go. I'll bring up the rear. I don't want to bleed on anyone. Jeez. Oh, We're gonna have to go as quiet as possible and see if we can make it to an empty floor or even the roof. You think it's possible for you? Yeah. Get going.
Remember when Savannah was empty? Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There must be thousands of them. They didn't follow us here, did they? It sure seems like it. That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. Is it? That fucking train wasn't exactly discreet. Well, what do we do now? We need to get off this roof as fast as we can. It's not safe down there. We can't just walk through the streets. You planning on growing some wings? It's taking an immense amount of willpower to not make a crack about that suggestion, coming from the one-armed man. That joke will be funnier once we know if this worked. Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. I... Uh, don't think we can ignore what just happened to Lee. He lost a lot of blood down there. If you find yourself getting winded, or worse, you gotta let us know. Okay. Probably just need to go a little slower. And I know we can't afford dead weight, so... Don't treat me like I am. We won't. Now what? We get down and we find a little girl out there. Right, pal? Now, let's get our bearings. Not going back in there. Hospital must have run out of doctors. It's an extension ladder. Some poor bastard took a spill. Yeah, looks like whoever was up here painting that sign went ass over tea kettle. He or she walked away from whatever accident happened. Well, that doesn't really mean much. That looks like Crawford Square over there. Fuck that place. Did fix up our boat, though. We get Clementine and get right back. Make sure she wears her life jacket, okay? Something tells me she's not gonna want to. That looks like Crawford Square over there. Here's a way down. Yeah, if half the dead population of Georgia wouldn't wander in the streets down there. That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. We need to head back that way. We'll stop off at the mansion, like you said, and make sure we didn't overlook anything. Yeah. Just need to figure out a way to get there. Anything over here? Honestly, my vision isn't great. I think it's allergies or all that shit those walkers are kicking up. Allergies. Shit. People used to get those. I know, right? You never see anybody in an end-of-the-world story with pay fever. It's not the time to get wistful. I know. It's this deal with Clem. It's everything. It's put this rage inside me like I can't even say. I used to get allergies too, and just... Fuck. Who was that guy? Someone with priorities? Got any good ideas for getting through that, uh, herd? I'm working on it. Are you going to be able to hang in there? I have to. The mansion's that way. Yeah. If we can use that bell tower to bring them to that side of the hospital, it won't be an easy trip back toward River Street, but it wouldn't be impossible. I'm with you. Just have to get over there. I was thinking you and Omid wouldn't come with me. We can't stop looking out for each other. You two have been solid since day one. What's this? Day three? Four? Well, I appreciate it.
What's up over here? Bell Tower. That's what's up. Hmm. Yeah. That could help. Hey. I think you're Clem's favorite, you know that? Really? Yeah, she's a big fan. You get away with shit I never would. We're getting her back, Lee. You know that, right? Yeah. When we get this fucker, we'll get out of sight and leave you with him. You get me? I get you. How's the leg? It's doing a lot better. Thanks for going into Crawford for me. Even if it wasn't entirely for me. Clementine, too. She's tough as hell. Isn't she? Yeah. Don't worry more than you should about her, okay? I'll see if we can make it out to that bell tower. Okay. Be careful, though. I don't want you going any sooner than you have to. Thanks. With the bell tower on this side of the hospital, and the mansion over there... Uh, that might be our way off this rooftop. I can make it to that bell tower. I can draw the walkers down to that side of the hospital. There'll be thousands of them. That'll thin out the streets between here, the mansion, and River Street. Even if it's just for a few minutes. No way. It's higher than this roof for starters. Jumping that. See anything? Nah. Just, uh, I was taking a minute, actually. Sorry, I, I know I shouldn't. What's going on? That's just everything. Fuck, man. You know. I do. I can't thank you enough for what you did for Duck. I don't know how I'd be if you hadn't. Don't dwell on it. I look at where we are right now. And I can't imagine Cat and Duck and all this mess. Kim. No. No, I I'm sorry. We're in a fucking hurry to get off this roof. It's... it's not the time. I'm sorry. I'm okay. There's a bell tower over there. We know what those do. Yeah. Could be part of how we get through the streets. Yeah. Any thoughts about anything else? Nah, I'm alright. Just needed to take a second. I'll keep an eye out over here. Sorry. How many you think are wandering around underneath us right now? In the hospital? Thousands. I mean, who knows? It was full of dead before, right? Yeah. That's what I was thinking. And out there? Look at that dust. Fuck, man, who knows? Whoa, you need some help with that? I got it. Damn it. Buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed then. Wow. 
why the hell are we letting the one-armed guy do all the high-risk maneuvers? Because the one-armed guy insists. Now shut up about it. That thing looks a little rickety. Maybe keep that shit to yourself next time? Yep. Yeah, I'm fine. I was wishing I had my other hand. No shit! Try to find another way out of there? Coming this way! Tons of them! Jesus! Now get back here! I think I have to jump! There's no way back! You can make it! It ain't that far! this motherfucker. Good goddamn leap, pal. Let's get the hell off this roof! What are you doing? Don't get mad. The boat's gone. No shit, it's gone. Relax. Ben, what happened? They were waiting for me in here. Who? Vernon, his whole crew. Was Clementine with them? No. He seemed pissed you guys lost her and, well, they took it. They're gone. Ben, you are worthless. What happened to your arm? We cut it off. Ben, I could just kill you right now. I can't believe you didn't even put up a fight. Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. Yeah, that seems like a good idea to me. Nobody asked you. You just did. Don't get fucking smart with me, Ben. Chill. Do you remember we had a boat? A boat! Krista's right. Boat was a pipe dream. We still go after Clem, and then we get out of Savannah and rethink our entire plan. Rethink? How about we just think for once? That's what I'm saying we do. Calm down, Kenny. Yeah, chill. We can do this in the yard. Ben, I swear to God. What do we do without a boat? Get to the countryside. 
dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. Live as safe as you can, okay? Look, I agree with you. I think out in the country is the safest place to be. But you're not dead yet, so put a pin in that, okay? Where the hell do you get off? I'm just saying we should all chill, not just you. Chill? Bandits? Hey, chill! Here's some pills! Vernon, chill! Here's our fucking boat! This isn't my fault. I can't point to one thing that's happened that isn't somehow your fault! Lee should have left you in Crawford. Fuck you, Kenny! Careful, guys! No, let him. I am so, so, so sorry about Katja and Duck. I am! And I know I fucked up. But stop pushing me around and stop wishing I was dead! No! You know how they die. You've said goodbye. I never got to see my family, my parents, my little sister. Do you get that? Your family is gone, but at least you had them to lose. I never made it home. They could be alive or dead or walkers or worse and I don't know! So give me a fucking break! Oh, Ben, I'm... Oh shit! Here they come! In the house! They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista. Get on the windows in the front room. Check the boards. Got it. Kenny. Look for weapons. Gather anything you can find. Will do. Ben. Move anything you can up against the doors and windows. Got it. Omi! What is it? Front doors! Lee! Help! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Hurry! Big, sturdy house. It'll hold. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> Shit! Get upstairs! Go! Thank <laughs> you. 
here. Um, I'm not good with these. You dropped it down there. That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay, let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent III. Industrial... Mead? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. So, no ideas then. Can't we fight our way back through the house? I've got a weapon. What else do we have? Not much. It'd be a goddamn mess going back down there. I'll go. We're no good to Clementine dead. <coughs> hey. You're not looking great. And you're warm. Hey, don't stop. What did that mean? She's at the hotel, where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her. Yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our... urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Stop it! We can't panic! Do you think that worked? I... I don't know. I hope so. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. We don't need to talk about it. I think we do. I said we don't. Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. What if it was you, and it was Duck out there? Whoa there, friend. I bet you'd rather stay focused on the problem. Not have people turn on you. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me! We will get Clementine back, with or without you, because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. Then kill me, you son of a bitch, okay? Don't even fucking hesitate! I will! Ah! You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look! It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. I'll be damned. We're not lifers on Alcatraz here. This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. Sorry. Me too. I get it. Go sit down. I'm glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well... We probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. 
If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. I was. The fucking thing, it, it happened so fast. You ever almost hit someone in a crosswalk? Almost? His license was suspended. Twice. Just wham! Thing was on me. Never saw it. Like someone in your blind spot. It's so weird. I keep doing a double take on your arm, expecting it to be there. I'm hoping whatever's in their bite is gone too. What do you think the odds are of that? I don't know. I know everyone's wondering. Even if it just slows down the process, I'd be happy. You don't mean that. So when we get this guy, what do you think? We figure out who he is, and why he's doing this. We can rescue Clem, but she won't be safe if this guy's not gonna stop. So, did your crew get into any shit before you met up with us? Is it possible to have survived and not gotten into some shit? And, you know, whatever happens to you, uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I was bitten, Krista. You cut it off. What good is it to plan around that work? What good is it for you to give up? I haven't given up. I want you guys to take her. Stop it. I'm serious. I'd be safe and relatively happy with you two. We're not doing this right now. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? What about him? What do you two think? He's a risk to the group, but... I feel bad for him. Yeah. I feel bad for him, too. He loses shit like that often? No. That was a first. It's good that he did. Kenny couldn't pull that shit on me. The kid killed his family, so there's been some tension there. Really? What happened? Kenny's son got bitten during a raid by some gang that Ben was secretly helping. They used him. Kenny's wife died because of his son. Jesus. Well, seems like he got through to Kenny. Whatever that's good for. All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, hun. You can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. Uh, that, uh, feeling any better? Still feels pretty recently chopped. So no, Kenny feels about as uh, good as you'd expect. I mean, do you think it worked? Did it did it help at all? I feel like a man who got bitten. So take that for what it's worth. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. Well, as much as anyone. Lee's family's gone too. It'll be alright, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. Maybe take it easy on him from here on out. I'm angry as hell. Not at him. Maybe. Maybe not. You heard him outside. I did. I never really thought about it that way. This guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. The aforementioned Larry fella? See, 
Lee and I got trapped in a fucking meat locker with him. He had a heart attack, so there's this guy who I should say was built like a brick shithouse. And we're terrified he's gonna come back and eat all of us. What did you do? We were resourceful. Larry didn't make it out. No, he did not. We did, though. I'm sorry for hurting you in any way, Kitty. It's impossible to go through life without causing some sort of pain. But sometimes I can't help but wonder if I could have caused a little less. You and me both, Doc. Well, cheers. <sighs> I'm through! No walkers. Things are looking up. Everyone keep a goddamn eye out. <laughs> 